What's yeah. changed? Uh, training. Uh, I have more faith on me, and I'm, I'm and thankful and grateful to be here and do, doing what I love. Yes. If her recent performances are any indication, Marie Jose Talou does indeed love what she is doing. In fact, she proved that at the women's 100 meters field at the Oslo Diamond League. But before that, let's talk about how Marie Jose Talou came to love the track. Many probably didn't know that her first love in sports wasn't track and field. In fact, Talou's sporting career began on the football pitch while schooling in her home capital, Abidjan. She was even spotted by a local women's team who tried to draft her, but her brother wouldn't let her sister play a boyish sport. Born and raised in the Ivory Coast, Marie had her mind set to become a football player until her brother suggested she try athletics, track and field in particular. My older brother did not want me to carry on with football, fearing that I would become a tomboy, Talou told World Athletics. Her brother was convinced that her sister could make it on the track, as she was constantly out sprinting her male teammates on the football pitch. While she was still in high school, Talou defeated girls who were training to be national sprinters in a 200 meters race in 2008. Mind you, she ran barefoot. Eventually, the switch paid off and Marie started to love the sport. However, her mother, who raised her and her other three siblings single-handedly, wanted her to go to university and study medicine instead of pursuing a career as an athlete, especially as a female sprinter, which was uncommon in Côte d'Ivoire. When I started, my mother didn't want me to do it, she said in an Olympics.com interview. And people around me say, you're from Africa, I don't think you will become someone, I want you to continue your studies to work in an office. But I felt because I like to run so much, this is my way. Well, I wonder where those people are right now. I can almost imagine their faces when they first saw Marie Jose on TV after winning a major race. Like, that was the girl they said won't make a name for herself if she pursued a career as an athlete. If God give me bronze, I will take. If he give me silver, I will take. But the most important for me now is gold. And I pray for that, I return for that. I hope tomorrow will be better. It was a very fortunate thing that Marie Jose persevered despite what the naysayers said to discourage her. Eventually, her determination paid off as she deserves. My results at the 2012 African Championships had made me realize that I had the potential to become an elite sprinter. She also shared how things did not work out for her at the university, which she just went to in the first place because she wanted to realize her mother's dream, so she accepted a sports scholarship to pursue studies at Shanghai University. When that didn't work out, she decided to return to Côte d'Ivoire. Since then, Marie Jose Talou has acquired a lot, I mean a lot, of accolades. She is now a three-time All-African Games winner, one-time African champion, two-time World Championship Silver Medalist, as well as a one-time World Indoor Championship Silver Medalist. That's not all. Marie Jose is also a one-time Francophone Games winner, one-time World Continental Cup winner, 13-time Diamond League meeting winner, and a whole lot more. She was doing so well that she was awarded an Olympic Solidarity Scholarship to prepare for the Rio 2016 Games, where she qualified for both the 100m and 200m finals. At the time, Marie Jose showed so much promise in her continental and global races. I'm just calm to enjoy, to maybe improve my start and my finish again. Do you see that? The finish again, but... <laughs> However, she finished fourth in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters finals. As can be expected, she was deeply disappointed for missing bronze in the dash, where she was judged to be just seven thousandths of a second behind Jamaican Shelly Ann Fraser Price, as they both tied at 10.86 seconds. I want to forget Rio, but Rio gave me self-confidence, experience, and motivation to return to training and work hard, she said. Although Rio 2016 was a true disappointment, Tolu remained positive, because a couple of months before the games, she didn't actually know if she would be able to run. I got injured at the Diamond League meeting in Doha in May 2016, and I didn't know if I would be able to run in Rio, remembers Tolu. And my coach was like, are you sure you are going to be like uh, in the top form? I say, it's if God wants me to be there, I will be there. And after what can be referred to as a disappointing finish, she remained positive, although, of course, she was saddened by the result, too. But according to her, in the final, what happened, happened. But I try not to remember it too much and stay positive. She knows this disappointment helped her get better. 
running alongside those ladies who achieved great things was useful for me. The next year, she came back better. Well, as best as she can get in a short time. That said, the 2017 World Championships remain one of her best events to date as she won her first career medals. Although she ended up losing the 100 meters gold to American Tori Bowie who lunged at the finish line. After just missing out in Rio, the medal you really truly were after and deserve. Yeah, uh, I'm just happy to have this medal. Tolu described this win as... It's a, a, a dream to become true. I just thanks God for the power he gave me for this competition. I didn't expect to be uh, in the top three because you know all the girls have the power. In the 200 meters, she again lost her best race so far in a close dash to Dutch athlete Daphne Shippers. Fast forward to 2023, Marie Jose Talou is running exceptionally well this season. In fact, she is unbeaten in nine 100 meter starts this year, so a lot of focus is on her with the 2023 World Championships in Budapest fast approaching. If she runs as well, or hopefully better as she did at the Oslo Diamond League several weeks ago, she could have a chance of becoming the first African woman to win the 100 meters or 200 meters at the World Championships. If you think I'm exaggerating, well, I may be, but just a little. But her exemplary performance in Oslo was not. There, in the fifth stage of the Diamond League, Marie Jose Talou clocked the fastest time of the year at 10.75 seconds. With that, the Ivorian now holds the three best African 100 meter performances in history. So did Shirika Jackson's Talou leading this one. I don't think they're going to catch her. She goes away and Strong takes second. 10.75! Talou led from the start and was uncatchable through the finish line, inspiring Anthonique Strachan to a huge personal best PB of 10.92 seconds while Sharika Jackson came third in 10.98 seconds. And Talu has beaten Jackson, she's beaten Asha Smith, all of the others, Strawn ran incredibly well, and I think that's a new personal best. A few days before that, she owned the women's 100 meters as well at the Golden Gala Diamond League meeting in Florence. There, Marie Jose Talu made a typically fast start and stayed clear to win in 10.97. Beginning to ease away from the rest. Is there anybody coming back? They're looking Kemba Strong through the second half. He's going to take second over in lane one. A good third place there, I think, from Imani Lantico. But Talu there. Well, 10.97. With all that said, let's keep an eye on her at the Worlds next month and see if she will indeed be the first African woman to win the 100 meters at the World Championships. What's, what's the goal for this season? The goal is to have a medal for the country in the World Cup, and I think that with the team, <laughs> we're going to get it. Yeah. And speaking of worlds, watch this to see why you should keep an eye out for Wade Von Niekerk as well.